Good evening. I'd just like to show you, before I put this together, I have made a short video of this running around. So this is what I've come up with. This is the inside chassis of that um, Hornby free rail um, two car EPB unit. So this is the one with the actual motor bogey. I've made it on a very similar principle to how the class 20 hornby made the class 20 with two floating bogies with a metal bar so this has got kind of three quarters of the original um chassis of the coach because these are just ordinary southern region coaches uh two small ones that i've turned into this uh epb so I worked out how much by the length of this motor bogey that I needed. A lot of it was just trial and error. Uh, I cut a piece of aluminium which is screwed and it has a, a locating pin to get it because once you've got it you've got to kind of line it up um, to get it kind of level. You've got to make sure that this has got enough room to turn and that the space here between these two bits here are about right um, and of course then this fits over the top and of course I've left the original tabs in place that will slot um, back down in and then once I've glazed because obviously in the front I need to put the windows um, glazing in and a piece across there which will obviously be black for the root indicator box so the tabs just match back up again uh, i don't ever want to keep bending them backwards and forwards because they will snap off um, i want to actually keep them in place because if i do have to take it apart at any time it um, will hopefully be an easy process so you can see now by looking underneath this this hangs down more and there's plenty of um turn on it to go around the curves and th there is a short video now of it running around um, but I just wanted to show you before I connect it back up what this looks like so um, yeah that's it really and um, then as as I progress I will be sanding the roof down putting the two-tone horns on and I will probably paint the roof again but the sides I'm going to leave they're, they're in pretty good condition and I just want to leave it um, slightly original from that point of view and the ends will be the that, the, they're actually different it's weird because I would imagine most of these two coaches were probably made about the same time and one well they're both tin but one's got a kind of a uh, markings on it and this one is just plain I don't know why I mean they're just two random coaches I think I paid about seven pounds something like that each for them uh, and that was it coaches like this the tin plate ones you can pick up quite cheaply just look around um, and that's it really so that's where we are on there that's the finished chassis which runs um, and um, yeah I'll just keep you posted as we get to the next bit Thank you very much. Bye now.